Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you, to be with my colleagues and former colleague Frank Wolf, good friends. Uh, thank you all for uh, speaking up on the topic of genocide in the Middle East and working to mobilize people uh, on behalf of these persecuted minority groups and uh, in defense of Christians. In defense of Christians is responsible for supplementing the news cycle coverage of persecuted Christians in the Middle East, and I've seen firsthand the expertise that your organization has supplied to news outlets to help them focus attention on these atrocities. It's, it's uh, invaluable. You've heard a lot of things, I won't repeat it. Let me just give you four points. Number one, be informed. There's no reason in this day and age that we are not adequately and fully informed on what is going on. Number two, speak up. The scriptures say in Proverbs 24, verses 11 and 12, and I'll just paraphrase, if you see someone being drawn away to death and you don't speak up, God will hold, him, hold you accountable for doing nothing. In other words, doing nothing is doing something. Silence is consent, and we must speak up for those innocent people who are being persecuted around the world. Number three, act. Do something. God can't guide a post. Act on your beliefs. Move. God can even turn a person around 180 degrees if you're acting on your faith. And fourth, as we've heard, we should pray. And I like the analogy used in the scripture on prayer and intercession. In Psalm 106, Ezekiel 32, Isaiah 58, prayer is likened to a hedge of protection, standing in the gap, filling in the breach of the wall. And so we should humbly intercede and pray for our brothers and sisters around the world who are innocent and who are suffering because of their religious beliefs. So keep up the good work, IDC. Keep telling the world what's going on in the Middle East. Keep shedding light in the darkness there. We're all very grateful for what you do. Thank you.